Hello everybody! It's summertime in Belize, which is the same as all the seasons. And I just wanted to start out here because the breeze is just amazing. Because it's really hot, but this breeze makes everything feel so good. So I always like to start by saying hi to you out here and have a look at my background. And today we're really going to talk about something a little bit more real, about being real. So come on inside and have a chat with me. I want to read you something that I just put on Facebook. Come on in. Say goodbye. Hello. Come sit with me. Come sit with me. Hello. Oh. Okay, I'm going to take my sunglasses off. Hello. Hello, Dr. Deb. <laughs> okay. Um, I want to read something to you today and I just put it on Facebook but it really was meaningful when I found it. Have you read The Velveteen Rabbit? I think most of you probably have but here's the thing about it. You know when I think about Hi Carol! Oh you're gonna like this one today I think. You'll have to tell me what you think. Carol did you read my Facebook post on The Velveteen Rabbit? If you did let me know. If not don't worry about it. But you know I think that as we're going through menopause and it's such a transition but I really think it's a transition into the best half of your life if you look at it like that. And if you use, okay, you're going to hear it now, so that's good. And the reason that I think menopause is probably the best phase, of, is the catalyst for the best phase of your life, is because it really gets your attention. It gets your attention with your body. It gets your attention with what's going on in your mind in your life. And it's almost like reevaluating everything. And of course, for most of the women that I work with, I'm working with women that have been struggling with dieting their whole life. Menopause is making it worse than ever. Time to get off the diet mentality cycle. Time to accept and love yourself. And time to really learn how to take care of your body, which may or may not mean losing weight. But here's the deal, and this is the truth. You are getting older. <laughs> There is no doubt about it for all of us. So that is the first thing that we must accept is that we're getting older and what that means for our bodies. They're not going to look the same. But something happens inside of us that transforms, that makes everything around us different. So I want to read you this, um, this little excerpt from The Vel Velveteen Rabbit and then I want to talk about it. So bear with me while I read it. I'm reading it on my computer. So I don't even know how it looks as I'm reading it. But hey, this is part of being real because I want to be more real with you and that's part of this. So the Velveteen Rabbit, it starts like this. He said, you become. And it takes a long time. And that's why it doesn't happen often to people who break easily or have sharp edges or who have to be carefully kept. Generally, by the time you are real, most of your hair has been loved off, your eyes drop out, and you get loose in the joints and very shabby. But these things don't matter at all, because once you are real, you can't be ugly, except to people who don't understand. Isn't that kind of interesting? So if you've never read The Velveteen Rabbit, it's a children's book. It's really for adults. But it's all about what happens to you. I think it's a metaphor for aging. And I also think it's a metaphor for feelings. So as we get older, things happen. And some of the things that happen to us are things that we don't want to happen to us. And they do anyway. And our perception about how that, trans how that transforms us is what's up to us. Does it make us a, a, a better person? Or does it make us a more depressed person? because bad things are going to happen. But this is what I think. It's like, I think what we really all want, and this is what I want for myself, and this is what I want for you, is I want you to become more of who you are, not less of who you are. I think we walk around in our lives for many of the time with a mask on of who we think we should be. And I think there comes a time, and I do believe menopause is the time to take the mask off and be who you are with the things that have happened to you, right? And so, okay, so we have some wrinkles now. In fact, I'm looking at this, I can even see the gray coming in my hair. It's part of me. And um, I don't know, maybe I should go gray. But that would be more real. 
But the real really comes from inside to be yourself. I mean, are you afraid to be yourself or can you be yourself? And can you take the things that have happened to you to be things that have happened for you and not to you? Any of it, whatever it is. So that when it says here, generally by the time you are real, most of your hair has been loved off and your eyes drop out and you get loose in the joints and very shabby. Don't you think that's like a metaphor for getting older is, you know, our skin changes, a lot of things changes, but inside of us, we become more of who we were always meant to be. And we can see things for the way they really are truly supposed to be. That all of these things that happen to us are happening for us. Right? And even with menopause, it's not happening to you. It's happening for you to recognize what's working for you and what's not. And when you see wrinkles, when you see gray coming in, when you see that your skin maybe isn't as tight as it used to be, mine isn't. You know, I used to, I, I used to think like, when, especially when I was going through menopause, I was more concerned about my weight <laughs> than about wrinkles. But now that I'm on the other side of that, now I'm a little bit more concerned about my wrinkles than my weight. And you know what? That always comes from the same type of thinking of not accepting and loving yourself, right? Because, <laughs> you know, whatever weight you're at right now, whatever you want to lose, you still have to accept where you are right now and love it. Well, you don't have to love it. You have to accept it. And it's the same thing with whatever is on your face or in your body is you have to accept it because somehow you have earned it in a way by living through your life. And life has meaning on your body. And, you know, smile lines. I have, like, frown lines. And I think I've been frowning too much in my past. <laughs> and I want to smile more. And I think if I smile more, I'll have different kinds of lines. And those are the kind of lines I want. I want smile lines. I don't want wrinkle lines. You know, sad lines, frown lines. So I want to smile more. And I want you to smile more, too. <laughs> And I think, read The Velveteen Rabbit. That's what I, I I'm going to go back and read the whole thing. It is so meaningful and such an idea about what, meta, about what menopause could actually even be. The time to become more real. The time to realize that just, beca just because everything is not the same in your body or around you. I mean, look at me. I am looking outside at Belize. Could I have told you that that was going to happen to me? I know. You know, like I'm in my 60s and I'm living in Belize. <laughs> and I feel like I'm 20. Feels good. But it's better to be my age that I am now. I don't want to be 20 again. I want to have lived through everything that I lived through and be inside this body now with what it's gone through and see things from a different perspective and realize, yeah, some of my hair has been loved off, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, it's been loved off. I hope it all gets loved off, right? I hope it all gets loved off. I want to live this life. I don't want to rust out. I want to use everything I have. Everything I have. Hi, Dawn. I don't know you. This is your childhood friend, Dawn. Hi, Dawn. I'm not talking much about weight loss today, but <laughs> I'll tell you what. It's got everything to do with it. You know, so if you want to learn more, talk to Carol. She'll give you the scoop. But for today, this is what I want you to do. I want you to read The Velveteen Rabbit. And then I want you to be able to look at yourself. I'm looking at myself right now. And I want you to be able to just say, some of my hair has been grayed off. Let's just say it's been loved off. Oh, she's so skinny. <laughs> Dawn is so skinny. Okay, well, good or bad. I don't know. I don't know if skinny's good. I don't know if fat's good. All I know is that if you like what you see, that's good. And that's the most important thing that you're ever going to learn ever working with. You have the book, The Velveteen Rabbit, Dawn? Oh, good. Read that excerpt that I just read, and I'd love to hear what you think about it. I'm going back and reading the whole book after I read that. 
But are you going through menopause, Don? Are you just here listening to me because Carol told you to come? <laughs> Either way, wherever you're at, use it as a transition to love your going through it. Good. Well, I want you to use it to help you, and I want you to think of it as a transition that's going to lead to the best part of your life. Same age. Good. You all ready to be in the best part of your lives? Okay. Well, you're on your way. Well, let us pave the way for you because I want you to know and I want you to be prepared. And you start by being prepared for loving and accepting wherever you are right now. And if you're not, that's what we work on first. And the other part is to know that whatever is worn on your body or worn around your life has been used. And it's better to do that than to rust out. Use, it, use everything you can. Do everything you can. Right? So, until next week, Don and Carol, it's good talking to you. And um, I'm getting ready to start a class, and I'll talk about it next time. But it's going to be all about summertime and using the heat of summer and menopause to give you whatever type of life or body you want. So I'm going to see you next week. Good talking to you both. Bye-bye.